you know, my syringe or rubbing alcohol, 90% or 91%. And a little bit of water to rinse out the alcohol. And take my this you said. This is turkey tail. Mushroom I'm going to be injecting into the Starbucks cup. Full of hickory chips that I pressure cooked and help form because it's made out of polypropylene. Starbucks cups and Slurpee cups can be cooked and reused and cooked and reused and cooked and reused for <coughs> quite a while. Going to grow the mycelium and fruit right at, in this cup. My turkey tail and the syringe. sometimes. Now in the Slurpee cups, these will be perfect for growing king oysters out of, or any other kind of oyster mushrooms. You can pack these pretty tight. I pack these with uh, uh, aspen wood animal bedding in the store. It's like four bucks for a, a big old brick of it. And uh, Milo seed, ground Milo with uh, coconut husk. I covered each, each one with cellophane and then uh, tin foil, tin foil just to make it a little bit stronger for storage if anything bumps into it and the cellophane to protect from the mycelium eating the tin foil pretty much because some strains will eat right through tin foil and you don't want that because then it'll add heavy metals, you know, soak up heavy metals, unwanted heavy metals in uh, your spawn. King of oysters, you'll want to uh, do a what you call scratching, scraping off the top half or inch or so of mycelium uh, growth to expose uh, newer uh, newer mycelium underneath. It, just, it provides better fruiting when doing king oysters like I'm doing.
Oh, the key oyster. Key oyster might see that. Simple. So we go into the very corner of the cup so I can see the initial growth through the side of the cup and monitor for contamination early on. using little, little syringes, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole syringe per container. As the alcohol dries, cover with paper tape or cloth tape. Paper tape work, works pretty good uh, for uh, air exchange. Just keep uh, get a couple rolls and keep them in a clean space. Get a little box or a bag or something, and keep a few clean. And uh, have a couple dirty rolls for different different purposes. Cover up all my little injection holes. And that's one king oyster mushroom slurpee cup. When it's finished, peel the tape off, peel the top off, scratch off the top layer, set it in the greenhouse.